Harinder Singh Kapani, also known as father of fiber optics was born on October 31, 1926 to a Sikh family in Moga, Punjab. He was educated in India, graduating from Agra University. He served briefly as an Indian Ordnance Factory Service Officer, before going to Imperial College London in 1952 to work on a PhD degree in optics, which he obtained in 1955. At Imperial College, Kapani worked with Harold Hopkins on transmission through fibers, achieving good image transmission through a large bundle of optical fibers for the first time in 1953. Optical fibers had been tried for image transmission before, but Hopkins and Kapani's technique allowed much better image quality than could previously be achieved. This combined with the almost simultaneous development of optical cladding by Dutch scientist Bram van Heel, started the new field of fiber optics. Kapani coined the term fiber optics in an article in Scientific American in 1960, wrote the first book about the new field, and was the new field's most prominent researcher, writer, and spokesperson. Kapani's research and inventions have encompassed fiber optics communications, lasers, biomedical instrumentation, solar energy, and pollution monitoring. He has over 100 patents, and was a member of the National Inventors Council. He has received many awards including the Excellence 2000 Award from the USA Pan Asian American Chamber of Commerce in 1998. He is an international fellow of numerous scientific societies including the British Royal Academy of Engineering, the Optical Society of America, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. As an entrepreneur and business executive, Kapani has specialized in the processes of innovation and the management of technology and technology transfer. In 1960, he founded Optics Technology Incorporated and was chairman of the board, president, and director of research for 12 years. In 1967 the company went public with numerous corporate acquisitions and joint ventures in the United States and abroad. In 1973, Kapani founded Captron Incorporated and was president and CEO until 1990 when he sold the company to AMP Incorporated. For the next nine years, Kapani was an AMP fellow, heading the Entrepreneur and Technical Expert Program and serving as chief technologist for global communications business. He recently founded K2 Optronics. He has also served on the boards of various companies. He was a member of the Young Presidents Organization and later was a member of the World Presidents Organization. As an academic, Kapani has taught and supervised research activity of postgraduate students. He was a Regents Professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and at the University of California, Santa Cruz. He was also Director of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Development at UCSC for seven years. At Stanford University, he was a visiting scholar in the physics department and consulting professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering. As an author and lecturer, Kapani has published over 100 scientific papers and four books on optoelectronics and entrepreneurship. He has lectured to various national and international scientific societies. His article on fiber optics in Scientific American in 1960 established the term fiber optics. In November 1999, Fortune magazine published profiles of seven people who have greatly influenced life in the 20th century but are unsung heroes. Kapani was one of them. The year 2009 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Charles Cow for his breakthrough work in fiber optics. This surprised Nobel watchers and created a buzz in the scientific circles at Dr. Kapani's omission from the coveted list. It is well known that it was Dr. Kapani who pioneered the early works in fiber optics and demonstrated how it heralded a new technology era. His work was crucial to further research into the field and was done way before Kao started his own work on transmission of light over long distances via optical glass fibers and yet Nobel Committee chose to ignore Dr. Kapani. An unsung hero, Dr. Kapani is not alone as others before him have been ignored by the Nobel Committee as well, a classic example being that of Mahatma Gandhi. It wouldn't be an overstatement to say that it was the Nobel Committee which missed out on the father of the nation. Today even at the age of 85, 
Dr. Kapani continues to work in his quest for invention of a better technology and inspire us with his achievements in the field of science. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching, please like and share this inspiration. And if you are new to our channel then subscribe for more inspiring stories.